So y'all see me do butterfly nails, bat nails, but today I'm gonna be doing angel wing nails. Wish me luck. This video is sponsored by Shopify, but more on that later. So ever since I did the butterfly wings, I've had people tag me in various extravagant nail designs. <laughs> so the one that I've been tagged in the most recently were angel wing nails. And this is one of them. I think this is so cute. This is a more practical way of wearing angel wing nails. They're not, you know, they're still kind of wide, but not crazy wide. And then I was tagged in these and oh my God, homegirl went off on these nails. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna pull this off, um, but I got some ideas in my head. So I went to Amazon and was like, okay, this time I'm gonna get some help. <laughs> I'm gonna get some ingredients to help me. These nails are going to be long, okay? They're gonna be crazy long. So I went to Amazon and got some of these like triple X lengths, <laughs> extra, 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 extra long. I don't know if it was four extras, but it was a lot of extras. These are long, whoa. Like that's a, that's a thumb right there. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to need all this length but I might because I have some silicone molds here that I want to use. And, and I bought a couple different ones, but these were the ones that I settled on. But I think I'm gonna go for the big one. <laughs> Just imagine like we got this long nail right here. I'm gonna have to zoom out because these nails are long. Just imagine a nail like this and then we got, I don't know how I'm gonna put them on there, but we got the angel wings. I don't know why I do this to myself, but yeah, I think I think we just like go for the big one. Should I do it like down or should I do it up? I don't know, I feel like this looks like a bird or something. <laughs> I don't know, but at any rate, we're gonna use, we're gonna use this one. And I'm gonna do this with poly gel. I figure if I can get the poly gel inside the mold and then cure it, it'll make it easier for me to, you know, shape and stuff. And then, you know, we can clean up the edges if we have to with the e-file. So that's what I have in mind. So for those who don't know, I have my own poly gel line, Evie Patty Gel. And we have six new colors and these are the colors. We have Marshmallow, Pink Nude, Pixie Latte, Mocha, Nude, and pink sheer. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these. And while I do that, it's the perfect time to talk about today's sponsor, Shopify. Shopify is a commerce platform easy enough for anyone to start their own business. And when I say anyone, I'm talking about me. I am anyone because my technical abilities are very limited. I've always wanted to start my own nail line, but I didn't know where to start. Like everything was so overwhelming. Hubby and I stumbled our way through the early days of our business, but it was not easy. <laughs> it's a lot of moving pieces. We were using a different commerce platform and it just made it hard to track everything and it just made the business really hard to manage. So we moved everything over to Shopify around 2019 and things got easier instantly. With Shopify, we're able to do everything in one place from building to managing a website, selling the products, processing the payments. Shopify makes it easy to manage all that in one place and we thank them for that. <laughs> so my favorite feature with Shopify is if you look down below this video, there is a product shelf with Evie Patty Gel on it. That is a Shopify product shelf. I love that Shopify can integrate with your social media platforms, making it super easy for your customers to find your products. And that has been very successful for me. So if you've been wanting to start that business, I say go for it. Start your free Shopify trial by going to my link, shopify.com slash longcareprettynails and start that business. So this color is Pink Nude and the OGs will know that I used to sell acrylic that was called Pink Nude and that was my signature nude shade. But once I created Patty Gel, I wanted something that kind of reminds me of my tried and true Pink Nude color. And this is perfect. I know it took a while, but I was perfecting these shades. I wanted you guys to be able to have choices in like your base colors as far as the nudes. This color is Pixie Latte, and this is one of my favorites. 
can't even say that though. They're all my favorites. They are all my babies. <laughs> but this is called Pixie Latte because it has a very fine glitter in it. Very, very fine, almost like a shimmer. And that is Pixie Latte. And this color is Pink Sheer. And it is just that, it is a sheer pink. This is for the people who don't want full coverage on their nails. If you just want a light pink tint, this is perfect for that. And this is Pink Sheer. Next we got Nude. And this one is also a really nice nude shade if you don't want the intense pink of like the pink nude. And here is Nude. And the last color we have is Mocha. This is the deepest of the shades. I wanted something that was going to look natural, but also kind of a deeper hue. So there's Mocha. So these are the colors side by side. Once again, we have Marshmallow, Pink Sheer, Pink Nude, Pixie Latte, Nude, and Mocha. So for the angel nails, of course, we're gonna have to use the Marshmallow. I'm not sure if y'all saw earlier, but <laughs> It has shimmer in it. It is so pretty and I think this would be perfect for some angel wing nails. So now the challenge is how I'm gonna do this. So like I showed y'all before, I do have the extra, extra, extra long nail tips. So I need to go through these and see what sizes I need. They all just, <laughs> just come in this bag. Um. I don't know, it seemed like it had like all 10 sizes in one bag. I don't know. So I am gonna have to do some filing, I, I know I am. I wanna get, you know, as close as I can to, you know, my nail size. <laughs> So I have all of my nail tips picked out. These nails are going to be really, really long and I decided I'm gonna make them into press ones because ain't no way. Ain't no way I'm gonna be able to function at least like an hour with these nails on. So I picked up some of that Jello Jello Peel Off Base Gel. I saw my girl Emily use it and she loves it and that's pretty much what made me wanna get it because we kinda got the same nail aesthetic. If it works for her, I'm hoping it'll work for me. All right, so let's open this up. It's fancy. <laughs> All right, so you get the peel off base gel. And this is the one kill gel remover and some manicure sticks. <laughs> the only English is like on the front, but I think I've seen enough nail videos that I think I might know how to use this. <laughs> this bottle, y'all, it's really nice. For one, I need to do just a little bit of nail prep. So I'll take my nail drill in a sanding band I am just going to prep the nails a little bit. I just took off some dip powder nails, so not that much residue. And this is a fine sanding band, so I'm not being too rough. The speed is low. We're just gently taking the shine and any leftover residue off the nail. So I'm gonna go in with the peel off base gel. There is different ways that you can apply this. Oh, this is, <laughs> this is tight. There's different ways that you can apply this peel off base gel. If you want your nails to last, you will only do a little bit in the center and leave the sides and the cuticle area, you know. But I want these to come right off. So I'm just going to put it over my entire nail. And it says to apply a thin, layer you know the website that i bought it from <laughs> it's in english so it tells you how to use it and like i said i want this to come right off these crazy nails are gonna have to be press ones from here on out <laughs> i do think it's really cool that there are some u.s people that are selling some of the korean nail products one time i tried to get some korean gel that i saw on instagram and so i contacted the person via email i had to use google translate uh they came back with a quote because like i just was like oh let me get all of them <laughs> they were like yeah it's eight hundred dollars i was like oh that's, <laughs> I can't do that. It was such a shame because it was like, it looked like a makeup palette, but it had like the prettiest shimmer gel polishes in it. And it looked like you could only just like buy it all at once. It was too pricey for me. And I was like, ooh, I'm gonna stick to America. <laughs> but anyway, you wanna go ahead and cure the peel off base gel for 60 seconds. 
So this is what it looks like after it's cured. Nice and shiny. And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and glue these nail tips on. So I'm gonna use the Young Nails Brush On Glue. A lot of you always ask, what kind of glue do you use? This is it. So we're just gonna put some in the well of the nail tip and making sure this thing is straight. Cause ooh, it's long. I gotta look at it straight on just to make sure it's straight. But we're gonna go ahead and glue that on. Oh my God. <laughs> look how long this is. This is, this is long. <laughs> but yeah, I'm very happy I decided to do press ones cause, oh my goodness. All right, the nails are on. <laughs> These are so long. I thought the butterfly nails were long, but these are long. I'm gonna have to zoom out to get my whole hand and nails. <laughs> uh, but I am going to kind of trim the ends just a little bit. I don't want stiletto. So, oh, okay, wait a minute. <laughs> I need to make sure it's somewhat even. Yeah, I'm just snipping it off just to make the perfect coffin nail. Oh, I should have blended this in a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't make a big difference. Because I got the peel off base coat, I don't want to file the nails and then file off all the peel off base coat and then I can't get these off as fast as I want. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the patty gel on top. We are just going to go for it. I know I'm gonna have to come back and get more of the patty gel because this nail is long. But, oh, look at that, look at that. Okay, <laughs> so we are going to work with this. Let me move this so you, okay. We got a little, I got a little better contrast so you guys can see. I'm really hoping that this peel off base coat works because I do wanna save these nails. These are gonna be like a work of art. So pretty much what I'm doing is dipping my brush in some alcohol and dabbing off the excess. And we're just gonna pat this in place because it's patty gel. <laughs> so this color, a marshmallow, is so pretty. Oh my God. I wanted a white, but I just didn't want a plain old white. Y'all know me, I gotta have a little pizzazz with everything that I do. <laughs> so I wanted to create this one, a white with a subtle shimmer in it. Super gorgeous. Oh. See like if the nails were kind of like a normal length. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and continue to pat this in place. I want these, even though these nails are gonna be long and crazy, they are gonna be shaped to the gods, okay? Like there is no half stepping over here. So I'm gonna take my time and lay and pat all of this patty gel. All right, so it didn't take too long, but I'm just really perfecting the shape. And I just want y'all to see how easy the patty gel is to work with. Like it stays in place, you can pat it until you get it right. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of shaping, but I'ma just, you know, this is just our rough draft here. So I'ma go ahead and cure that and do that to all of the nails. All right, so we laid all of this patty gel and surprisingly it didn't take as long as I thought it was gonna take. But we're gonna go ahead and wipe the tacky layer off. I'm just gonna use some alcohol and some paper towel and just give these a wiping. They are pretty sticky. And you wanna make sure to get off this tacky layer because when you get the filing, you don't want this stuff to get stuck in your file. That tacky layer will tear your file up. So just make sure to wipe it away. All right, so the test with this peel off base gel is that if I can file my nails and they don't pop off, hey, this is gonna be like my peel off base gel. Cause that's a problem I always have is, you know, it'd be fine until we get to filing. 
and then they pop off. So I went ahead and got a new nail dust collector. This is the Gen 5 from Valentino Beauty Pure. There wasn't anything wrong with the old one, but you know, they claim this one is new and improved, quiet fan and all that stuff. So I wanted to see. I mean, it's still a fan, but it is quieter than the last one. So we're just gonna go ahead and file. It is so difficult filing these long nails, like. You gotta hit some weird angles. <laughs> I've been filing a while and the thumb <laughs> did not withstand filing, but that is okay. This is what I wanted. I just have to buff the nails, so I'm just gonna go ahead and buff this nail. All right, we are done filing, shaping, and buffing. <laughs> these nails look ridiculous. Like I said, these are gonna be press ons anyway, and I'm quite happy that this one popped off. Um, although it didn't withstand filing, but you know, that's okay. So let's see if any of these other ones were ready to come off. They all seem to be on there pretty good. Okay, so let's see if I can get them off. This is the gel remover. And let me grab one of the manicure sticks. Okay, so we're gonna put some around here, under here. I don't know how much you're supposed to use, but. All right, so we're gonna let that sit a little bit. But yeah, this is, this is what I wanted. I wanted to make like press-ons like custom to me. So this is right up my alley. All right, so let's see. I put this on my entire nail, so I shouldn't have a problem. Oh, but I do see that this side is starting to lift up a little bit. So it works and it's not painful. I'm just going to put a little bit more of the remover. I was trying to see what is this stuff made of? <laughs> it doesn't smell like acetone or anything. So you see that? It's starting to lift. Yeah, everything has a very light, fresh scent. It doesn't smell like it's toxic. All right, I guess the key is just letting it... Oh, there we go. Yay! They're coming off. This is, this is gonna work out. I am so happy this is working because I can get as crazy with the nail design and don't have to wear them. You know what I'm saying? All right, they are all off. And surprisingly, they came off pretty easily. Like, I am impressed. I'm with Emily. I'm gonna start using this stuff because soak off life is no more. <laughs> all right, so we are on day two and I have a hair appointment today. So after I took the nails off last night, I just was like, this is a perfect time to just take a break. This nail design is gonna be too much to do in one sitting. So after I get my hair did, I'm gonna go back home and finish the nails. Getting my hair treatment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like this mountain man look. Yeah. So we back. So next we're gonna work on the angel wings. So I have some ideas for this. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of alcohol and kind of pour it in here. Seeing if I can get some of the dust out. And I don't think you'll be able to see the dust anyway, like after I'm done, but you know, 
I ain't never done this before, but we gonna try it out. So I'm gonna go in with the clear patty gel and I'm going to form my butterfly wing with this. Hopefully this works because I have a really like ambitious design that I wanna do. I pretty much wanna turn the angel wings into like aquarium nail tanks. I kinda wanna do that, but man. This is gonna take a lot. I don't want this to be like super thick either. So we're gonna try to keep it thin and see if we can uh, spread this about. So I'm dipping my brush in alcohol and we're just spreading this out. All right, it seems to be working. I'm gonna try to go up a little bit on the lip here, but I'll see if I can do that towards the end. So yeah, I don't think I've seen anybody do like poly gel inside of one of these forms. I could be wrong, but I've never seen it. So I am curious to see how this turns out. But so far, so good. And also I wanted to make sure that they were even because as much as I like the butterfly nails, they were a little uneven. A lot of people called them out for that, but it's like, this is hand art, okay? <laughs> it's not supposed to be even all the time. Oh, if this turns out like I want, oh my God, it's gonna be so cool. But yeah, I am gonna like, like I said, put it up on, on the edge here. Cause I, I want, since it is gonna be an aquarium nail, I want to make sure I have enough room for lots of liquid. I feel like I am like back in elementary school and we're doing arts and crafts. All right, children, grab your silicone molds. <laughs> so this is taking, I mean, it's not taking like a really long time, but it's taking a little extra time, a little more than I was expecting, but I wanna make sure we're getting the patty gel into the wing tips. So I'm being very intentional with putting the product there and just taking my time and making sure the mold is filled properly. And I'm aware that I can use builder gel or something for this. This is an experiment, so I'm trying it out to see if it works. Okay, and then I'm just gonna inspect it up close to see if there's any areas that I could fix. What I can see, I guess I can flip it over so y'all can see. Can't really pick it up that well on camera, but having a little issue here with the tips. I don't want it to be an air bubble there. I'm gonna see if I can get that out. I'm trying to get it perfect with the mold. The purpose of using the mold is so I won't have to do any cleanup work. <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm gonna just go ahead and care. So we're gonna put this in here for a long time. I'm gonna do two minutes. It's a lot of patty gel, so yeah, we're gonna do that for two minutes. All right, so here is the moment of truth. This has, okay. Two minute cure seems like it was enough. Okay, yeah, this is, you see, it's not flimsy. <laughs> it's not flapping around like it was. Let's demold. Oh my God, does this, is this actually gonna work? I think so. Being careful. But it doesn't seem like there's any uncured spots. Oh, that's all I wanted. <laughs> Was the wing tips to come out sharp. We are in there. Oh my goodness. Oh. Okay, okay. These nails are about to be lit. Do y'all see how this came out with the with the indents and the wing lines and everything? Oh yeah, okay. Let me do the other wing. I'm not sure if you can hear the violin, but guess who's back from college for Christmas break? <laughs> For those who don't know, my daughter plays violin, so she's home from college, so you might, I don't know if you can hear it or not, but she up there practicing. So anyway, so I had the first wing sitting up here, and this is the second one. 
why didn't I think of silicone mold sooner? Because this is a game changer. For real, for real. And, and another one. So yeah, it's gonna be something like this. <laughs> On the nails. Wow. These turned out really good. Since I'm doing an aquarium wing, uh, I have to have like another piece of this. So the top part is gonna be the clear wings that you guys just saw. And then there's gonna be a base or a bottom one. And I'm gonna do that with the marshmallow color. Uh, we just gonna repeat what we did with the clear and just squeeze it out. Oh, this is gonna be so pretty. I keep forgetting about the shimmers in this. Like, yeah takes a lot of product though. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Had to go in my stash. I'm just going to just put this in the mold like everything else. This is gonna be so dope. <laughs> this is gonna be nice. All right, so I got this one filled up and like before, I'm just gonna check it to make sure there aren't any spaces. Looks good to me. I'm gonna go ahead and cure this for two minutes. All right, let's see how this one turned out. All right, all right. We are about the same. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh yeah. Ooh, these turned out really well. Okay, I got one more wing to do. All right, and the final wing. Yay! Next thing I'm gonna do is take some alcohol and clean all these pieces. They're super, super sticky, and I need to do some, some cleaning of the edges. So uh, I would prefer to do that on a non-sticky surface. So yeah, if y'all had any doubt on how clear the clear patty gel is, this is your confirmation. She clear. So now we can work on our tank. So we're gonna connect them somehow. Okay, the first thing I wanna do is clean up like the edges. I'm just gonna take a nail file and clean these up. All right, we are making progress here. They don't really line up completely and I'm gonna have to do some like fill-in work. The easiest way for me, acrylic will ensure that it really gets into the crevices like it needs to. Oh y'all, excuse my hands. I've been <laughs> wiping them with alcohol a lot. So it's gonna go like this and like this. Well, first I wanna add all of my trinkets inside. I have like these glitters and hearts and stuff. You know, we're going for like an angel thing. So we're just gonna put just randomly, since this is gonna be a big tank, I can have a lot of fun. Ooh. I think this is like one of the biggest aquarium, liquid, whatever you want to call it, like piece that I've made. It's almost like one of those shaker keychains. <laughs> We're getting into shaker keychain territory here. But, oh, okay, that's enough. <laughs> I don't want too much going on, but it's gonna be a lot going on. So we just gonna scoop some of these over here. So just use my fingers. Put a little gold in there. I'm gonna take some clear acrylic and we're gonna seal this up. Like I said, I could do it with gel, but acrylic is faster. You just seal it on up. I don't have to keep curing and stuff like that. I wanna make sure that this is gonna be sealed up. If it wasn't so big, then I'll probably do it with gel, but the stakes are high. <laughs> I was debating if I should have waited to put the glitter in, but I'm like, I think I still can do it, so. Oh. 
Y'all see the vision? Like, y'all see? <laughs> I can't really do too much, like, showing y'all what's going on, but y'all kind of get it. And I'm gonna let the acrylic sit on the brush for a bit. I don't want it to be soupy and go inside. I'm strictly trying to keep this on the outside. So we're gonna put this bead right here. At least this will hold my place. Slowly and meticulously work our way around this angel wing here. I'm sorry, I can't really show y'all the sides, but y'all get it. If I tilt this too much, all my glitter's gonna fall out. So I am still working on sealing this angel wing up. It's taking a minute, <laughs> a long minute. Um, but yeah, I'm just being, I'm just trying to seal everything up. Everything didn't line up perfectly like I thought it was going to. So I have this side sealed so I can kind of show y'all what's going on. It just didn't line up perfectly in some areas. This is the better of them, but like right there, it's a huge gap. That is what I'm working on right now, so. All right, so we got wings. I'm a little upset because my monomer must have been dirty on this one because the clear is not so clear, but and then I can do about it now. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this one. So I got my coconut oil and we are just gonna put some in here. Oh, I'm so mad that this is yellow. And we're just gonna put it in here. Okay. We in there and fill her up. Ooh. Oh my God, y'all, my hands are so ashy. <laughs> it's probably gonna take a lot. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna take quite a bit, but that's the point. I wanted these to be like in your face. I must've did an okay job <laughs> with sealing it up because it hasn't leaked yet. Oh, I talked too soon. I think I saw a spot where it was leaking. All right, well, uh, I have some work ahead of me. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first is just seal this part up and then I'll fix all the leaks. I'm sorry, I'm trying to see and y'all trying to see. Oh my God, it's dripping. Oh, I gotta hurry up for all of this drip out. No, no, no. We are not about to do this today to me. <laughs> okay, I think it was this tip over here. What part is dripping, but we just gonna seal it up. Oh, this isn't going too well. Okay, I'm gonna hold it like this and let the acrylic set so I can find out where all the leaks are coming from. I thought I did a good job. Mm. Okay, I think I successfully got this one filled and sealed. I was going to do the same thing, like put the hole up at the top, but I got too carried away with sealing it up and I didn't do that. So the hole is right here, if y'all can see that. Please, nail gods, let this be sealed. Okay, so we're gonna fill it up this way. Okay, so far, so good. Ah, it's dripping. Where are you leaking from? The nail gods did not answer my prayers. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and put a glob of acrylic right here. I'm sorry, y'all can't see what I'm doing, but I have to work at this weird angle. Oh, this is so frustrating. <laughs> I'm going to get my life together and I'll be back. I think I bit off way more than I could chew. So these are the angel wings and I had such a hard time sealing this one. It was just leaks everywhere. <laughs> so by the time I sealed everything up, it doesn't have enough oil in it. So 
I have to drill. This is kind of how I'm gonna do the placement. It's probably best for me to drill up here. Oh, this is so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I somewhat thought this was gonna, like I had it all planned out, how I was gonna do it. These wings said, forget your plans. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and drill into this. I think I broke ground. <laughs> all right, there's the hole. I'm gonna get some more oil and we're gonna fill her up cause she low. Gas tank is on E. All I'm gonna do is plug this hole with some clear acrylic. I am always so ambitious with these nail designs. Like, this is too much. <laughs> this is way too much. Oh, this took entirely too long. I didn't think that I was gonna spend majority of my time chasing leaks. We should be good to go now. I popped these nails back on. I probably should have waited a little bit because I decided to make me feel a little better about the yellowing. We're gonna throw some crystals on top of it and camouflage it. <laughs> so I'm going in with the McCart rhinestone glue. I'm gonna put these on with acrylic because they are really, ooh, okay. That's making me feel a little better. But yeah, this yellowing is like really annoying. I wish that I didn't do that, but here we are. And I'm just, it's just gonna be a border, so I'm ooh, so glad that the hard part is done. <laughs> and we are just gonna place these, put these crystals on. All right, both wings are blinged out. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is attach them. I'm going to put the beads of acrylic onto the wing right here. And I'm gonna put one at the bottom. And I'm gonna put one at the bottom here. I'm gonna take my nail and hold it like that. Don't really think this is enough, but I just need it to kind of set a little bit. Okay, and I can't move it. Uh, what if I set it like this? Okay, this is perfect. Oh, this is hard. I'm gonna kind of catch these beads and not have them so out there. And I'm just gonna use acrylic to attach this. I just need a little hardening of this to kind of get me started and then I can make it neat. These are gonna be so heavy. Yeah, I definitely should have put this on before I glued the nails back on. Lesson learned. All right, so while that other side is setting, I'm gonna stuff some more acrylic down in here. I'm just going to reinforce this because this wing is really heavy. Flip it back over. Okay, so yeah, this is gonna be what we left with. Really cute. But my God, is this nail heavy. <laughs> So we're gonna put a little dot right there and put it right there. And because I want these to be like symmetrical, I need to, but I also need a flat surface <laughs> to put this on. All right, so we're gonna do it. I think it was like right here. Hope that's right. Gonna be right today. I can't move it yet cause it's so heavy. Here, I thought the butterfly nails were heavy. All right, I'm gonna go in with my shiny top coat. Yeah, I think I will like it better shiny. And then you get to see the shimmer of the marshmallow patty gel. This color is gorgeous. So these nails are so big, I had to take the bottom off of my nail lamp <laughs> and cure them like that. All right, here is the finished look. These nails are so heavy. Like, I can't, <laughs> oh man. But yeah, they are huge. I'm trying to hold them right so I can like, <laughs> I can't even hold them right because they're so heavy. Okay, something like that, you know. You know the pose. <laughs> ah! Okay, 
Oh my God, these nails are so big and so heavy. But, you know, it's art. <laughs> wow. So let's see if we can see a little bit more of, okay. If I move like side to side like this, then you can see the liquid moving. Oh, these are awesome. Okay, okay, y'all see it. <laughs> I cannot express to you how heavy these nails are, but I actually pulled this off. So would y'all ever try these? These are some of the longest nails, probably the longest nails I've done. These are longer than the butterfly nails. The more I wear them though, like I feel like it's a workout for my fingers. Hey. Hey. What you doing? Watching vending machines. Oh yeah. Dancing bacons. <laughs> Got a question? What's that? What you think about my nails? <laughs> no way. Oh, they, oh. they heavy. They so oh my heavy. God. <laughs> you crazy? You put liquid in these? Mm-hmm. Like. Oh my! They're heavy for me to hold. I know. If I like, if I. Can't shake them too much because it hurt. <laughs> These are ridiculous <laughs> by anyone's standard. They are. Oh, they creative as f. I know, but guess what? These are press ons. Oh, so you can take them off? Uh huh. You don't need to. And you I, gonna break something? I know. I'm scared. Oh, so I can play with these, huh? Mm-hmm. All right, give me one of them when you're done. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here's a <laughs> here's an angel wing to play to play with. <laughs> oh, Seriously. Like <laughs> 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 huh? Got a leak? No, that's just the um the stuff that I use to take the pill off face coat off. <laughs> it's nail products. I don't want it anymore. <laughs> it's gonna be your Christmas present. Not if it's a greasy. <laughs> <laughs> you can keep it. Anyway, if you enjoy watching me do crazy nail designs like this, why don't you check out these videos right here? And I will talk to y'all in the next video. I'm just gonna fly right on out of here.